the running total adds all of the values from the top of the column to the row with the formula. We need to create a range reference that always starts at the first row in the column down to the row the formula is in. If you use the formula with regular range references, it will fail when you insert rows. For example, using equal to sum $C$2 colon C2 formula in Excel table will work okay the first time. The formula in D10 references range C2 colon C10. Insert a new row. Now formula in D11 and D10 reference the same range. If you delete row 11, the formula in D10 corrects itself. Using structured references in the formula prevents errors when adding new rows to the table. Method 1. To create a running total in an Excel table, you can use the index function with a structured reference to create the absolute reference. The index function is used to create the first reference in the range. Here the array is the entire amount column and row number is 1. This works because the index function returns a reference to the first cell, not the actual value. To refer to the cell in the same row where you enter the formula, use at amount. As the formula is copied down the column, the references to the cell in the first row doesn't change, but the reference to the cell in the current row changes. The result is a range that expands. The sum function adds the values in the range in each row, creating a running total. Add a new row and the running total formula gets copied without any error. Method 2. Create an absolute reference to the first cell in the column combined with a structured reference for the last cell in the range. Insert new row. The formula is copied to the new row and running total is calculated. This method works in the current version of MS Excel 365. Older versions might have issues. Method 3. Reference the header cell to create the absolute reference for the first cell in the range. The reference will not change as the formula is copied down. Click on the header cell to create the reference. Type colon and then select the cell in the row with the formula. Press enter, the formula will automatically be copied down the entire column and running totals are calculated. The header cell always contains the text data type, therefore the value in the header cell is not included in the sum calculation. Add a new row and the running total formula will be copied without any error. When looking at the formula in edit mode, only the cell in the header row and current row are selected. Excel doesn't put a colored border around the entire range. This does not impact the results of the formula. All the cells between the header cell and current row are included in the calculation. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.